פרשת נוח. The Bible is extremely complimentary about Noah. Noah is tzaddik, he was a righteous human being. Tamim haya bedorotav, he was wholehearted in his generations. Noah walked with God. If that's the case, why is it that when Rashi comments on this verse, and especially the words that Noah was righteous in his generations. Rashi asks the question, why does the Bible say in his generations? Why doesn't the Bible just say he was righteous, he was wholehearted? And Rashi suggests, had Noah lived in the time of Abraham, לא היה נחשב לכלום. He wouldn't have been accounted for anything. He would have been a gornet, a כלום, a nothing. How could it be that when the Bible speaks so positively, our most classical commentary will raise a negative strain? The Moral of Prague gives a wonderful response. The morale of Prague suggests that both Abraham and Noah were confronted with a similar, a similar uh, etgar, a similar challenge. God said to Abraham, I'm about to destroy the wicked of Sodom and Gomorrah. Abraham immediately becomes a defense attorney. Will the judge of the entire world not do justice? Let's say there are 50 righteous, 40 righteous, 30 righteous, 20 righteous, 10 righteous. God cannot destroy the wicked, the good together with the wicked. And he does the best he can do in order to save the wicked people, the, all the wicked people of Sodom. Ultimately, he only succeeds in saving his family. But he wants to save everyone. He argues with God to save everyone. That's not at all the case of Noah. God tells Noah he's about to destroy the entire world. Noah works for 210 years to build an ark for his family and for the animals. But he never argues with God, and certainly in terms of what's written in the Bible, he never goes around trying to get the people to repent. Which Abraham, by the way, constantly did. Therefore, when Noah is compared to Abraham, Noah is lacking. This kind of lack continues. Because the Bible also says that in the ark, and this is in chapter 6 of Bereshit, verse 16, Tsohar ta'asel make a light for the ark. And there are two views. One view is that God told Noah to build with a window. The other view is that God taught Noah how to build with a chandelier. What's the difference between a window and a chandelier? A window forces you to look out, to see the suffering of others, to try desperately to do whatever you can to save them too. A chandelier, you only have light for yourself and whoever is in the ark. There's no way of seeing others. The view that sees Noah as lacking, as not caring for other the way Abraham cared for other, 
would certainly say that the light in the ark was a chandelier and not a window. That Noah's, Noah's failing, which didn't allow him to become the first Jew, was the fact that ultimately he cared about his family. He didn't care about the world. And we learn from this a tremendously important lesson. To be a Jew means you must care about and take responsibility for the world. Shabbat Shalom.